He said he was gonna do what? P-A-S-C-A-L. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Pascal back at it again with another pop up video. It's been a while. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, The Pascal Show. One word. Hit that like button down below. And let's not forget to crush that subscribe button if this is your first time checking out this channel right here. Also, please hit that join button or join my Patreon, show some support, or you know, buy some of my merch. The link is down below as well. Anyway, we got to get into this story. Wow. Uh, I haven't done one of these kind of may, male, quote unquote, Karens in a long, long time. But real talk, we need to get into this story. I saw this. I thought this was ridiculous. And this is very true. You see the title down below. A male, quote unquote, Karen was threatening black Popeye's employees, saying that they he was going to do something very violent that is basically within the, the confines of a hate crime. Yeah, we got to get into this article because this is just absolutely redunculous. Disturbing footage showing a suspected white male, a white supremacist, violently threatening a fast food worker over an order dispute seemed to check all the boxes for a federal hate crime by way of of a threatened lynching in an N-word laced rant. The video filmed at the counter of a Popeye's restaurant was going viral on Sunday and left no doubt about how the white man who starred in this in this footage really, really feels about black people. And I'm telling you, you're going to see the video yourself. It's insane. It's mind blowing. We're going to see it here in a second. There's a, there's little context accompanying the video that abruptly opens, showing the unidentified white man, which we have his information now. We're going to get into that in a second here, too. Uh, angrily walking toward the counter that separates the Popeyes and Popeyes customers from its workers, one of whom was filming uh, the actual encounter. The 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 actual Popeyes employee was filming the encounter. While holding a phone to his ear, the white man, who's clearly very upset, demands a quote unquote refund for his food. So I guess, I don't know, maybe his fried chicken was cold. Maybe it was cold. I don't know. But he felt some type of way about this BS. All right. One worker, an older man, said some unintelligible words before the white man pointed at the camera and claimed that that worker who was filming called him the C word. And, you know, it. it's also something that uh, you can uh, put, you know, stuff on. You know, it's 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 a crispy thing. You can see right there. It's a crispy little thing. You know, it's it's like a saltine. I'll just say that. OK, so when the older worker asked the white man why he was called that, his response immediately offered the missing context. The white man roared. His response, I called her an effing N-word after she called me a C-word. When it becomes clear that no one cares about the, this white man's grievances, he threw an impressively racist, privileged, and entitled tantrum that would make a baby David Duke blush. He says, you N-words think this is effing acceptable, huh? He growled at the camera which remained firmly trained on him, recording the spectacle for the rest of the world to ridicule. Yeah, I mean, I got to say this one thing. I mean, this is the one thing that you don't do. When the phones come out and they start pressing record, do not, I repeat, do not waste your time in trying to have a fight. Go away. Walk away. I'm just being real. They, they, your life is over as you know it. As soon as they pull out that camera and you just continue, it's over. You are on the cancellation chopping block. Just just, just a little hint for all y'all racists out there that just don't know any better. When the camera comes out, it's over. That's worse than getting shot, y'all. Okay? For emphasis, in, in, case, uh, in case it was unclear that he was racist, the white man widened his eyes, leaned over the counter, and yelled directly in the camera, you effing N-word, with the hard R, okay? 
So some giggling can be heard behind the camera before the apparent camera person offers some equally profane words for the white man. Yeah, she she calls, she screams back and says, you, you, you a C word, shut up, C word, so on and so forth. Then he re- then he goes on and says that he is going to, I can't say this word, I'm going to H you from an effing tree, B word, the white man says, still looking directly into the camera. Okay, all right, y'all, you've seen enough. You've heard enough. I mean, you already know this is what's going on. We got to take a look at this video because this video is just ridiculous. And actually really sad, too. Let's take a look. Refund my mail. You want to talk to your boss? No. You want to talk to mother? You for her call me. And what was you doing? I called her. She called me. You have a nice day. Call the cops. Call the cops. And you think I won't? Y'all, all you think this is acceptable? Woo! Shoot, man. I'm just saying, put the N words away. Put the word, put that word away. Just put it away. Don't even bother you with your time. Don't even. Damn. You lose as soon as you start talking like this. You lose. You don't talk like this ever. Period, y'all. Man. Huh? You. Wow. You know, th- you know what? This hurts my heart. That's what I'm going to say. It just hurts my heart. This is, this is the reason why I haven't done a, a, a quote unquote Karen video in a long time, because I'm so sick and tired of seeing these things. But it's a harsh reality that this exists and it still exists to this day. This man kisses his mama with this dirty ass mouth. You better go somewhere and sit down, man. What's that? What's that? You need that. I like I said, you're entitled to your own freedom of speech. You can call it as much as you want to call it. He can't call me that. He'll right, 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 kill. Right, 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 so now he goes on to proceed to say that he is going to H her from a tree. This is a woman that he's speaking to, by the way. Instead of going and using his gentlemanly skills by, let's just say, walking the hell away, he decides to keep going after it and trying to think of the most racist things that he can think of right there on the spot whilst she has the camera or cell phone recording his ignorant ass. Let's continue. I bet you I'll beat the f- you suck a Sad. You can suck a dick, and look at what you're acting like. Your chicken getting cold. Your chicken getting cold, fat boy. Wow. He just said, he literally said, I think this is what he said. Let me play that back one more time while he was like right out the, walking out the dough. But he literally said, I think he said, I, I'm white. I have more privilege or something like that than you, B word, and then left. Your chicken getting cold, fat boy. Your chicken getting cold. Chicken get- My life is already better than you. Something like that. Wow. Getting cold, fat boy. Man. Well, there it is. There's the video in itself. I mean, l- let me say this. This is very, very sad. Okay. This is extremely sad. Because you think that we live in a world where we're progressing as a people, we're getting better, the racism, the white supremacy doesn't exist or is starting to dissipate and slowly uh, fade away. But no, you see proof positive that, hey, he had to learn that from somebody. He learned that ish from somebody. And it sure wasn't from black people. That's from his own people. That was from his mama, his daddy. Shoot, his own people said that ish. Put that in his brain so he thinks that he can say those things. Now, here it is. Period. Point blank. That fight shouldn't even have happened. Whether she started that fight or if he just went into a racist rant like you see right there, if he just did that on his own free will because he just didn't like the color of his skin, then, you know, maybe the woman is doing what she needed to do, which is pull out the phone and record. But... On the other side of things, let's just play it. We've got to play the other side of the fence. If that woman 
did call him the C word. He could have taken the high road, but instead he decided to go into her screaming and yelling at her. I mean, he could have flipped the script and said, the heck you just say, pull out the phone and start recording his own damn self. If she was going on a racist tirade against him, throwing out racial slurs towards him and him being white. That's what he could have done or the other choice. Walk away like a gentleman. Respectfully ask for your refund. Take your money and walk. Make a phone call to the manager later on that day and you would have been easy peasy. That, that You would have had a good day. But no, he decided to go and take this to the next level and start screaming at her, defiantly standing on his, planting his feet and screaming the N-word with a hard R with ease. That doesn't work for me, fam. That does not. Because next thing you know, you got somebody who's sitting here saying threatening that woman's life, saying that he's willing to do whatever it takes to make sure she is erased from this planet by saying that he will H her from a damn tree. Like I said, I thought we've moved on from this world. I thought we are or I thought at least we are starting to move forward, not backwards. But then I see videos like this. And it makes me wonder. It makes me think otherwise. He could have left. He could have just walked away, but he didn't. And now, and now, his ass is being exposed. He sits there and goes, oh, put me on, blah, blah, blah. Well, here's some interesting stuff, okay? Now, what's interesting is his name is Colton Pete Nor Norsworthy. Well, he ain't worthy, but anyway, nor is he worthy. Hey, but hey, he was arrested in February in February 4th, uh, 2014 for battery. And here's some notes, felony battery or domestic battery by strangulation, obstruction of justice and tampering in third felony, third degree proceeding. Here's a little mug shot of that. A. Yeah. So as much as he sat there saying, oh, please, please, you know, take, please record me. Please do this. I want you to do that. Clearly, this man is not right in the head. But she, he, see what happened? He tried the wrong one. Because now his ass is exposed. But like I said, again, once that cell phone comes out, I don't care if you're the nicest or the most racist person on the planet. That should be a full-on sign that you should shut the F up. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on this video? I know. We don't have the full, the full scope of what really went down, right? Maybe she did say the C word first, but he, she, he could have taken the high road and walked away from the situation, but he didn't. He decided to go on a racist tirade saying that he was willing to lynch this woman. That's insane. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do not forget to hit that like button and most definitely crush that subscribe button. It'd be really great to have you a part of the Pascal Show family. Anyway, it's time to get going. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the Pascal Show. Bye. P-A-S-C-A-L You are now rocking with that dude Pascal We be going wild